Now let's take a look at some basic calculations related to pay increases, pay decreases, and percent change from one period to another. Now these are uh, cornerstones of what we do in HR because we're always increasing things from a certain point or decreasing things from a certain point. It's sort of like getting a discount at the store or paying tax at the store. Let's do the first one. In 2016, we want to give every employee a 6% pay increase. So the idea would be we would take this last year's amount, 2015, and add 6% to it. So let's go step by step. For example, the first one would be B5 times 0 0.06. 0 0.06 is in fact 6%, so if you'd like, you can also type in just 6 and a percent sign. And that amount, $2,520, is the amount of the increase. So in 2016, we will pay you this much more, plus we have to give you what you made last year. So let's double click and let's add last year's amount. So B5 times 6% plus B5, or you can do B5 plus this, and you'll get that answer. So an alternate way of doing it, and it all depends on, on how you learned in the past. Uh, you can do it any way you like. As a matter of fact, there's five or six different ways of doing this. So let's try this. Let's take last year's pay, and times it by 1.06. So the one represents 100%, which is last year, plus 6%, so 106%. So alternately, you can also do 106 percentage, and you'll get the exact same answer. And let's copy that down. Now in 2017, we would like to decrease the pay by 2%. So we're gonna decrease 2017 pay from 2016 pay. So the idea is, let's calculate the decrease first, so again, that's 2%. So we're going to decrease the person's pay by $890. But you have to take it away from somewhere. So let's do C5 minus that amount. So last year's pay minus 2% of last year's pay. And your answer is this. Now alternately, you can also do it this way. Last year's pay times 0 0.98. Because 100% minus 2% is 98%. And if you'd like, you can also do... 98% sign. Let's make it zero decimals and copy it down. Now in HR we do a lot of percent changes. For example, in this case from 2015 to 2017, although we increase pay and employees are unhappy about decreasing their pay, we're going to show just how far ahead they are. So the calculation for that is simple and you can just memorize this. It is always the new number minus the old number that you're comparing divided by the old number. So new minus old divided by old. So in this case, 2017 is new, 2015 is old, and you have to plug those in. Let's take a look. The new number minus the old number divided by the old number. And we use brackets because of order of operations. So have a look at that little lesson. We need to do it because subtraction happens before division. If you don't put the brackets, this division will happen first, and then it'll subtract that from D5. And we don't want that to happen. So let's take a look. The answer is 3.9%. Now, if for some reason you get an answer that looks something like this or this, it just means that you, ha you don't have enough decimal places or you didn't click the percent button at the top. So let's make it one decimal place and copy it down. And in this case, of course, all the answers will be the same because everybody got the same increase and the same decrease.